folks, these new birds are doing well. As long as I can keep that old badger out of here this year. These silver laced wine nuts are starting to get their pretty feathers on. And uh, last night we had a rainstorm and I pretty much had a river flowing right through here. Through my garden. I mean, I swear I looked out here, there's three inches of water running right through here down this valley. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway, I'm splitting a little bit of wood here, and I just thought it, I'm using this old two bit axe my, I uh, picked up. And, uh, just wanted to give you a little lesson with this, maybe. The idea is to swing this thing and just before it hits the block of wood, give it a little twist and it'll crack those, uh, crack the wood open. This one's a little bit knotty. I might have to get my maul out, but I found this two bit axe is quicker as long as it's not too, uh, too knotty. If it's too, got too many knots in it, I'll get the maul out. But, uh, I guess I'll take a few cracks at it here. Now you can see there, folks, it's a little bit quicker than the old, well, I think it's quicker. Quicker than the a heavier maul, like, this one, this, this one's more than double the weight of that two-bit axe. So, it's an old technique my dad taught me. Just give it a little twist right before it hits and it'll pop those pieces open and uh, it's a little easier to swing than the heavier maul. My buddy dropped this wood off the other day and he's like, hey you're gonna need a, a wood splitter, meaning that I needed one a power wood splitter. I said yeah. I think I can manage without one because I don't have one or I could probably borrow one but I figure I'll handle it the old fashioned way and get a little bit of a workout. Okay folks, I'll catch up with you later. One more helpful hint here folks is when you're splitting these chunks of wood, you don't just go right to the center. You uh, chip away at the edges. So you can see here I broke this piece off here and the next split I'll make is right across here and then I'll come back and do that. So helps if you uh, take a little off the edge, especially if you got a big piece, you don't go right to the center of it and try chopping it right in half. First you just cut, chip away at the edges. If you run into a tough side, flip it over and try the other side. Sometimes that helps. All right, folks, I won't charge you for this lesson.
Well, folks, that one was a little tough, as you can see. Had a knot at the end, the bottom of it. Had to flip it over a couple times, but yeah, we got it split up, and it's a good workout. So we'll catch up with you later. Well, folks, I uh, didn't video this, but my old garden space here that I'm. Uh, trying to replenish the soil and put down some fresh manure and then uh, plant some buckwheat a while back and that's coming up nicely it's a pretty pretty plant and flowers real nice and the deer enjoy it they come in here and stay they keep out of my garden that way I've got a fence around it too but anyhow a while back this old Ford wouldn't start just a little little uh, you know, what do you call it there a, I was having some trouble with it starting I didn't know what it was it was a short or what but a buddy of mine told me about a starter in his truck and the mechanic told him just turn the key about just turn it maybe 20 times and it should catch so after this thing was sitting all winter long and I had the battery tested to make sure the battery wasn't dead and nothing wrong with the battery. And uh, so one day I was standing out there and I remember my buddy telling me that story about his mechanic telling him to just turn that key. So I came out here and I turned it like 10 times. 11th time it kicked over and started up. So I don't know where I've got, it, if I got a short somewhere or if the ground wire's dirty, I clean the terminals. Not sure what happened, but now it starts. Let's see if this thing will fire up. There we go. Ever since then, it's been running like a top. Had that little water pump problem a little while back. And, uh, but uh, it's been working well, so just a little tidbit for you if you've got one of these and it's stubborn and won't start, just keep flipping that switch and sooner or later it'll catch, hopefully. But uh, this disc has been working all well. And, Work that uh, buckwheat in after I spread it around with that. The old Cub Cadet still uh, runs strong. This new Kubota's kind of taking over the lawn mowing. And then I've set my sights on a snowblower for it too for the back. Gotta go check it out. It's about 100 miles away, but <clears throat> hopefully it doesn't sell before I look at it. Found that on Craigslist. But this thing is spoiling me because I, with a mower and the tiller for that, I don't think I'll go back to the old belt drive on the Cub Cadet, but we'll keep this thing going. I'm going to put the plow on that for the winter, plow some of that early snow. All right, catch you later, folks. Mm -hmm.